In this lesson, we're going to talk about aligning Photoshop layers. So I'll tell you what, if you want to play along here, go ahead and go into your working folder for this chapter and pick up alignment.psd and alignment2.psd. We'll start with alignment over here. Now to get us set up, I have five circles that are numbered. Each one is in its very own layer. Now this is different than, say, for example, trying to align in Adobe Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator is an object-oriented, vector-driven program. Every piece of the image that you're putting together in Illustrator is a separate object. You could have in Illustrator all five of these circles in one layer, and you could still align them because they're separate. In Photoshop, it's about the layer, isn't it? So if I come over here with Layer 5 selected, I do have my Move tool selected up here, it doesn't matter where I go, I'm going to move that layer. And that layer just has the number 5 in a circle on it. So in order to align things in Adobe Photoshop, something has to happen. You have to have the paint in separate layers, or it's not going to work. You can see up here, we do have alignment options. But they're grayed out right now because we only have one layer selected. In order to align, you have to have the objects in separate layers. And don't forget, all of the layers themselves are transparent except for the objects that are in them. Let's go ahead and turn that back on. Actually, let me show you a shortcut here. Sometimes when I'm working in Photoshop, I want to concentrate on one layer and I want to turn off everything else. So I come over here and I say start turning layers off by clicking on the little show hide icon one at a time, which is kind of boring, but it does work, doesn't it? What if you got a couple of hundred layers? That would be no fun at all. Here's another way. You can actually start, say, with this one and drag down to turn them off. That's faster. I can drag again to turn them back on again. However, what if the one you want to look at is, say, ball three? You'd have to drag down here, stop, and then drag up here. Now, that would still be better than clicking on them one at a time. But my goal is to turn off everything but that one layer. Do this. Come over to the layer that you want to show. Come over to the Show Hide icon. Hold down the Alt key if you are on Windows, or the Option key if you're on Mac, same key, different name, and Alt or Option, click it. It will turn off everything but that one. If you do that again, Alt, Option, click, everything will come back again. Now let's get back to our goal of alignment. I want to align these circles. Let me do this first some. Let me move one of them, or actually move a couple of them. If I come over here, we know that if I click, I'm going to move the one that's selected over here. If I want to move one, one way would be to come over here and click ball one and move it. But to me, that just takes a lot of time. Here's a couple of tricks for you. Number one, if I want to move ball five and ball five isn't selected over here, if I come over, you got to be on the paint. There's no paint except for that circle. Hold down the control key in Windows, the command key on a Mac, and control command click. See what it did? It selected it. So I can come over here now and move it around. I can do the same thing here, control or command click, and then move this one. That's a quick way to do it. There is another way, though. If you come up here to your options on the Move tool, one of those is Auto Select. Some people ask me this question. They say, why is it every time I click on something, it selects the layer, and I don't want that to happen? Or how do I get it to work automatically? Well, if we go Auto Select, and I change this option from Group to Layer, if I click on one, it automatically selects it. Now, I'm not a big fan of that one because sometimes I'm just so used to Photoshop being this layer-based program that I move something without actually selecting it, and I wind up moving the wrong thing because I've got Auto Select on. But if you want it on, it's on. I prefer the shortcut, and that's the Control key and clicking on the object to move it. Okay, so we've got our objects kind of distributed here. Let's select all the layers. I'm going to come over here and click, and I'm going to come up to this one, and I'm going to click. That's a shift click on all of those. Select them all. They do not have to be in order. Okay, they do not have to be contiguous. You can select whatever ones you want to align. Up here, we now got this lit up. Now, if you come over here, we have controls for aligning vertically and horizontally. If I click, say, for example, this one right here in the middle, it will align all of those horizontally. Let's go ahead and press undo. I want to go the other way with this. So I'm going to go here. But notice we have a left, a center, and a right. And you might ask yourself the question, left, center, and right of what? 
Well, that's why I moved one way over here and five way over here. If I say align to left, the computer will look for the leftmost layer. And when I click, it will align to that leftmost layer. I keep wanting to say leftmost object, but technically that's not an object. That's a layer that's got paint in it. If I say right, they're going to go to the five. Or if I say center, it will look at the one and the five, find the center between the two, and center them. That's kind of what I want to do. Now, once I've got that, I want some distribution, which is what we have over here. If I click this button right here, I can distribute. But it's distributing based on the highest one here, the number five, and the lowest one here, and put all these in based on these. These did not move. These did. You have all the alignment features that you need, but it's important to remember you have to have them in separate layers. Now, let's go to our alignment, too. This one's really cool. It's a photograph of a bar. I did not have a lens big enough to cover the entire thing, so I took four photographs. And you can see where they overlap, you know, like here to here to here to here. This is kind of fun. Select all four layers. I already got them all four selected. A lot of people don't know this one. You got a button right here that's an align or panorama button. Click it. Now, in this case, for auto align layers, just use auto right here. Watch what happens when I click OK. Ain't it cool? It put the photographs together. It looked at them kind of like looking through them like slides and said, okay, this one lines up with this one, with this one, with this one, and put them all together into one. Now, we have other ways to do that, but that's built in right now to the interface. All you got to do is select multiple layers and click the button. Aligning in Photoshop is fundamentally different than it is in, say, an object-oriented application like Illustrator. But it is possible if you remember alignment is achieved by using separate layers.